Fresh off the plane from San Antonio, Joe Golding and the UTEP Miners back touching down in El Paso with two big home games coming up this week. We now bring in head coach Joe Golding for our weekly coaches show. Coach, you guys have won four games on the road this season. A big step for, forward for you in year one. Yeah, we have, we, we've played well on the road. You know, you, you look, uh, had a couple big non-conference wins, and then here we've had two conference wins uh, in a row on the road. So anytime you can win on the road, uh, you celebrate those things. They're hard to get. Any win in college basketball is hard to get, but uh, when you can get some on the road, it definitely helps. Talk about Jamal Bienemy. Already his numbers now moving forward. His confidence growing by the game. He really feels like if he's not the best, one of the best guards in conference. Yeah, he's playing really well. I'm excited for him. I'm more proud of him behind the scenes. I think his leadership and, and what he's developing as a leader, uh, we're still working on it. Uh, there's some still things like I was on his butt the other night at, uh, in San Antonio, some tight huddles and some ways to close the game, but uh, he's growing in that, and, and he's come leaps and bounds from first one. I, I, I love the kid. I, I love the relationship that I'm building with him. I'm happy for him uh, and, and the way he's playing. He's playing like an elite guard. I, I really think him and Sule both are. You look at Sule's growth. If you really watch Sule, he's diving on the floors for loose ball. He's guarding other teams' best defenders. Uh, he's had a lot more assists and turnovers here over the last two or three weeks. He's shooting great shots. And he's closing games for us. And so when you have two elite guards like that uh, on the floor, uh, it definitely makes you a better coach. Talk about diving on the floor. Are you starting to see some similarities between the hunger of the teams you had at ACU now starting to take Yeah, you're starting to see it in practice. Uh, I've really seen it over the last three weeks in practice. It's really starting to mirror some of our teams at ACU. Uh, you know, we, we, we practice hard, even game days. You know, night before games, we get after it. And this group was real hesitant on that at first. Uh, but, but you're starting to see that, and, and we're starting to get an identity uh, of how we practice and how we play and what's important to us. Uh, and, and obviously the Old Dominion win, I think, was a big win uh, for us. And, and just, uh, you know, how it happened and how we continue to fight and the way we won with some grit, some physicality, some toughness, uh, I, I think was really good for this team. Florida Atlantic coming to town on Thursday night. They're leading the Eastern Division. Kind of a surprise, but still, that makes it that much bigger again. Yeah, Dusty's doing a great job uh, with, with that team. They're playing really, really well. They have three guards that can really score the basketball. They average nine threes a game. Uh, obviously, coming off two big wins uh, here with Marshall and Western Kentucky. I think they beat Charlotte. I think they're coming in here on a three-game winning streak. So they're playing some really good basketball. And anytime you got a chance, you know, you know me. I don't look at conference uh, records right now or uh, the standings, uh, but I do know this. Uh, you know, they've won three in a row. They're playing really, really good basketball. Uh, and we got our hands full uh, on Thursday night. Well, you guys have won three in a row here as well, too. Returning home, how important now is that home crowd, especially trying to continue a winning streak? Yeah, I've said this from day one. You know, we're, we're trying to push the fan base. And uh, I, I can't thank the crowd enough and, and the fans that have come out to support us. I know our players are very appreciative. Uh, I'm very appreciative. Our staff is very appreciative. But uh, if we're going to continue to uh, to build a program back here uh, at UTEP, uh, we've got to get the crowd. There's a direct correlation between attendance uh, and, and winning basketball. There's no secret to that. And so we've got to continue to, to build uh, the crowd back in the dawn. You know, it's one of the toughest places to play in the country, Nate, uh, when, when, the foul, when, when the crowd's there, when the crowd's engaged in it. Um, and, and hopefully they'll come out Thursday. Uh, I, I know our, our fans are excited uh, about the last three games. Uh, they want a winning product on the floor. And I, I know we have a passionate fan base. And again, very appreciative, but uh, we need the dawn rocking. Coach, thanks so much for dropping by.